What's up guys, it's Captain S Production 72 back with another episode, I'm sure there must be like 9 or 10 of these now, of collecting every Lego Star Wars clone trooper, just gonna fix and check the lightsaber here, and today we have, you know, we're gonna fill in some of these gaps, we're finally gonna try and work on the top a little bit, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm happy that we're finally getting all of those classic ones are almost filled out, because a tiny few wee gaps, you know, most of which are like really inexpensive, of course our biggest gap because um, it's been over a month since I've done one of these. Our biggest gap is in that 2015 14 feet. Okay, within that era, kind of which, around here, is where we're missing the most coins. So I have five contributors today, ranging from 2024 backwards. So you can probably imagine what contributor the 2024 one is. I've got, I've started to get some of the sets from this year, so we've got one from there. But yeah, our oldest clone being an 05 clone, that's all good. So. Yeah, we're going to jump right in. We're going to go newest back. I don't know why, I feel that's the order I want to do. But first minifigure up is from this year. Brand new, because I feel like this was also sort of this one. This is a figure that's a little bit controversial in the LEGO community. This is Clone Trooper 5. So, really, we should have got this minifigure back in kind of 2010, 11, 12. Like, around then, when we got the original Arc Trooper, which is... Sitting right there from 2012. Um, this is a good minifigure. He's one of them, this minifigure and Captain Rex is one of the first clones to have arm printing. Because I'm looking about the stand and I cannot see another figure on the stand with arm printing. Well, no, Jack 14 does have some, and so does Echo. So yeah, I'm wrong there. I'm not always right, but you know, it's a nice looking minifigure. You got the unique head to fives, which is kind of cool. Of course, people are going to complain about those helmet holes. I just give up. I'm not going to complain. Yes, they look funny. But as I find, the arm printing on this is really nice. You've got those kind of dual pistols. Annoyingly, this is... See, I, I'm i not all up in arms about the helmet holes. But what I do agree with is the camas being printed is bad. No doubt. Not something I'm a fan of. And I don't like it. So he goes right here. We're starting a new row of that minifigure. Um, right in front of the sniper trooper from last year. So, moving back, we have a minifigure, uh, quite a few of these are from 2014, because that was the year I was missing most of them from. We have the V-Wing Pilot, because those count, the ones that come in those little V-Wing fighters do count as clone troopers, so, they're pretty cool. This one, I do like the helm, the head on there, like, see if you didn't have, you know, the helmet piece on, which I believe this might be one of the last ones to do that kind of helmet, where it's, you know, you can, uh, you know... Uh, the head underneath acts as like the eye part of the helmet. But you could use this as like a horror minifigure or anything. This is a pretty cool looking minifigure. Not like printing, but I do like it. This is the 2014 version. Dude, just another pilot, but it has the army. He goes right here behind the 2015 uh, Phase 2 clone trooper. So that does look really nice. Um, Also from that year, filling a gap that I wanted to fill for a while. I just kept forgetting to get this minifigure. I don't know how I even bought the 2005 version. A couple of months ago. The only thing I don't like about the minifigure is the stud shooter, which I will change at some point. We have the 2014 Kashyyyk Scout. You know, it's one of the most, one of the most beloved clone trooper types. I only have the one of them in my entire army. See, I've not been going nuts buying multiples of every clone trooper on this stand. Like, a few of these I do have loads of, but... Um, for instance, I have 11 battle packs worth of the shock trooper and new trooper. But, you know, again... Come next year's Clone Army 2025, this is a minifigure I'd like to have more of. Really nice looking minifigure, love the helmet mold. And just because, why not, let's show it next to its 2005 version. So we've got 2005 and the old Sanguine, then we've got the newer minifigure. I shouldn't say newer, it's 10 years old, that makes me feel really old. But, really do like this. I mean, yeah, it's cool, I do prefer the 05 one, but this is a nice minifigure. He goes next to the Kashyyyk Trooper. From 2014, the Phase 2 one, which is nice. You've got those two next to each other on the stand. Our next minifigure is, I believe, the only festive minifigure we have to add. I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, there has not been any other figures like this, Contrapper wise so maybe he will remain the only one. I, to my knowledge, is the only one. And I've got a complete guide there, and I don't see anything else that would be, you know, this, but... We have a Santa Contra, but originally I was planning to try and buy it because my thought process was this series could potentially still be going at Christmas. I don't know. Um, I was thinking about buying this minifigure around about then, but you know, I saw it, 
I got all these figures more or less. Apart from fives, all these came from one seller. I saw them in a figure and went for it. So it's essentially, right, it's this clone trooper here. It's got the same torso and legs. But instead of the helmet, which would have been nice because then that minifigure would have been cheaper. Um, If that's had the helmet included. This is from the 2014 advent calendar. You know, you get a Santa hat, a sack, and a mug. Pretty cool minifigure. It's like, this, like, Jack 14 definitely sticks out on the stand. You know, as being the odd ones out. So, this minifigure goes right next to the Phase 2 clone trooper of which it borrows its parts from. Now, my favourite minifigure in this, and it fills one of the gaps that I have been most excited to fill as a result of this series, plus it'll look, when this gap's all filled in, um, you know, it's just going to look so good. We have, from 2005, and it's one of two clones from that year we are missing, and now we only have to get one clone from that year, we have, and this is a minifigure I'm really happy to have, we have the 2005 Jet Clone, which is, you know, Aerial Clone Trooper, Aerial Trooper, you know, it's got this really crazy jetpack. The main part of the minifigure is the basic 2005 Clone Trooper. It's more or less just the same, same as this minifigure here, but with the wings. And, you know, it's, it's a unique looking minifigure. I really do like it. Um, it's different. Yeah, you know, it's got the standard kind of black head. It's got that big gun, which is kind of like what the original Boba Fett minifigures had. I really do like this one. It's a unique part of kind of Lego Star Wars. Um, not entirely sure where, where in Star Wars this pops up, but just still a really cool minifigure. What I wouldn't mind getting multiples of. And he felt um that came off. Yeah, that's one thing you have to watch out for in this minifigure. That is only held on by the most basic kind of part. It's held on by that. That's the connection at the back of the wing. So it is not the greatest um in terms of um you know connecting, but. Yeah, he goes right there. That means we are only missing one clone trooper from 2005. It's the free 27th Star Corps commander. This minifigure with a pauldron, basically. Um, an orange one. So that's the only minifigure we're missing from the top row, which will be nice to have all those original era clone troopers nice and sorted. Um, and of course, you know, 5 started a new line here at the bottom, which of course will be filled by future clone troopers, because, you know, this is something I like to keep going long term, obviously. You know, I'm caught up to the most modern clone trooper, like, in terms of the new ones. Um, so, what many figures do I want to have for the next episode? Well, there's a couple I have specifically in mind. I want to get that last clone trooper from 2005, just, just so I could have it crossed off the list up there. The aerial trooper does stand out, by the way. Um, that many figure as well, because this is still a gap area here. It's kind of like an L shape that comes along um, where we're missing minifigures and it even comes down here as well. I think those spaces are populated by minifigures like the old Rex, Wolf and Gregor, because characters like that is what would go there. Um, the one I know I'm going to have for a fact because I'm potentially buying the set it's from, which means I'll get another one of those Kashyyyk troopers and another one of those aerial troopers, is the Korn Turbo Tank from 05. So... You, trust me, um, we're less than away from the clone army. So if you enjoyed this content, you know, there's what? How many clone troopers here? We've got 79 clones here alone on the stand. So that just goes to show, like, this is a small portion of my clone army. It has been getting built up big. We've got more coming. Um, Another minifigure I'd like to have next time, but I still don't know where, if and when I'm going to buy this set. I want the Commander Fox. Yeah, it's a controversial minifigure in the Lego community, but I would like the Fox. Just to put the bottom. But I don't know if I want the Coruscant Guard gunship. I do, I, I do, I do, I, I do, and I don't want it. I can't really decide. But anyway, this has been another episode. Again, like I said, Star Corps Trooper from 05 is one we want to add up there. And possibly, you know, we'll all try and knock off a few more of those 2013 coloured clones. Like the blue one, the yellow one, because I've got the red one and I've got the olive green one up there. So they're, everything, they're taken care of. So just things like that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I ha really happy to do another episode of this. Because, um, you know, it is really filling out nicely. And it's nice to see all the different versions, especially up that top area of all those classic era ones. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode.